we've been on this train now for maybe seven hours, something like that. And it's practically empty now. The initial signs aren't too good. It's minus 26 degrees. Minus 26. <laughs> We're arriving in Dalian well, Station. It's still another 30 minutes by car to the actual city. And we don't actually know yet how we're gonna get there. You see Beijing. <laughs> Uh Finally, here in Udalianchu, and practically the only reason that we found ourselves here is the volcanoes. Certain Circles is known as a historical document of volcanoes because all around me I can see volcano there, 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 there. Altogether, there's 14 volcanoes in this entire area. Where we're walking through now, we're walking through the lava field. Look around how far these volcanoes are, because they're not a stone's throw away. So this lava's been flowing for miles upon miles and ended up here. However, currently it's a slightly little bit difficult to appreciate what I'm looking at as I am in minus 25 degree weather. I cannot feel my face. I'm wearing two pairs of gloves and neither can I feel my fucking hands. I am fucking dying. In the middle of the lava field, everything about is frozen over, except for this lake. It's travel-wise, there was a bit of a fuck up. The thing with Wudalianchur is you'll find very, very little about it. You know, it doesn't seem like your typical tourist destination. And particularly the time of year now, all the hotels are closed, all the restaurants, every shop, every store. So being a tourist is made that much harder. So yeah, right now, yeah, right now I'm in a homestay, sharing a house, a scene taken right out of The Shining. I was walking around, you know, just having a nosy because it seems so quiet. Open the door and there's an old woman lying in the bed. The weather, by far, is the most extreme that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Right now it's minus 30. So super fucking cold. So cold that practically everything I have with me is starting to fail. Uh, my phone, my phone will just refuse to work. The most devastating thing about it is because it's so cold, it drains every single battery that you have almost instantly. And the most important of which that I drained was my camera battery. Meaning that, you know, I had to go to a temple yesterday, one of the most extraordinary temples I've ever been to with a completely dead camera. 汉白玉是古代的一种玉器 昨天, 今天, 明天, 三天, 不用花钱, 啊, okay, okay. 明, 
大年初二一大早，陪着英国的友人上老黑山。My hands are fucking dying. 怎么样，美不美？六、嗯、三、two、three、嗯、four、one、two、three、four、six。五大连指。二、三。对对对。Take the second to think of what I'm doing here. I'm on a snowy volcanic crater. In northern China, in minus 30 degree weather, with my body sky over here, surrounded by 13 of the volcanoes. Best day ever. Sure, this PJ said, "Get out of the car, you're scared. I'm afraid. Ask me if this mountain can fall. Boom, 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 boom." One of the five lakes, I think this is the biggest lake of the five, of which this place has been named after, of course, is Wudalian Shur, five linking lakes. So we're here to see one of those very lakes. Whoa. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video which will be taking us to Jingpo Lake. And always be sure to check out the website at www.travelingwelshman.com where you can find guides, itineraries and blogs on all the countries I visited and as always drop those likes on Facebook, Instagram and the rest of it and I'll see you next time.